What message does that send to our allies for him to be making a claim like this with no evidence to back it up, especially in front of a, a world leader like Angela Merkel? Well, if the president has evidence, I wish he would share it with us. Now, the House Intelligence Committee uh, uh, is leading out on this and, the, and looking into Russia. Uh, but I can tell you from the oversight uh, and government reform perspective, we haven't seen evidence of this. I haven't seen evidence of mass voter fraud, and I have not seen evidence uh, of, of wiretapping by President Obama. So if there's something there, we will reiterate, uh, please share it with us, but we haven't seen it. Your Republican colleague, Congressman Tom Cole, you know him. He said today that President Trump owes President Obama an apology for what he called his reckless claim on wiretapping. Do you agree? Well, let's get to the conclusion of it. I mean, if the president is still as recently as today is saying that he believes it's uh, true, uh, you know, that extends it. I, I, again, we haven't come to the conclusion. And so uh, I will let the facts take us where they are. But if I haven't seen any facts in this case, I, I'd like them to share them with us. The White House uh, today also insisted uh, that it had offered no apology uh, to the British government for accusing its intelligence agency of spying on the president at Trump Tower during the campaign under orders from President Obama. It, you know, it, the president uh, and the White House the press secretary were citing a report by Judge Andrew Napolitano, a Fox legal analyst. Was that a mistake to utter those words from the podium of the White House and for the president once again to repeat that, uh, that report by Judge Napolitano? Well, I, I hope that uh, people understand that just one account of one news story, particularly when there are some of these are just by anonymous sources, that's not nearly enough, doesn't rise to the level where uh, you should be out and, and repeating those. They have to be very careful that way. I have not seen all the facts in that particular uh, issue, so I can't issue sort of my final judgment on it. But again, they need to be ultra careful as they, the leader of the free world. And when you're at that podium, you've got to be very, very careful with that. Yeah, you heard that statement from Shepard Smith on Fox News uh, right after the president made that statement today at the news conference saying uh, Fox uh, has no, no evidence at all to back up the assertions from Judge Napolitano or, or anything else suggesting that the president was wiretapped. Uh, here's the bottom line question. Then I want to move on, Congressman. Why do you think the president is uh, is, is reaching for a, a single Fox News story uh, to back up his claims instead of relying on the U.S. intelligence community or the law enforcement community. He's the president of the United States. He could just pick up the phone and say, get over here, tell me what's going on. Instead, he's relying on these news reports. Why do you think that is? I, I, I'm not in a position to answer that. Uh, I, I'm really not. I... I you have to ask the White House. You have to ask the president yourself. I, I don't know.